Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. A company I've worked with several times is Ayamaya. They have a camping supply on Amazon and they have sent some of their trekking poles over. So this is a collapsible trekking pole and they actually have them in two different lengths. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into the features of these trekking poles. The trekking poles arrive in this storage bag. It is just the right size for the poles. On the back has a little carrying strap. Oftentimes I don't save these bags, but it is nice to have. Let's open this up and pour out all the contents. There we go. Has a cute little instruction book that gives you plenty of nice details on the product. So we may scroll through that here in just a moment. This trekking pole is in three primary sections. Let's go ahead and put this together. So. To start, I'm going to take the middle section and slide it over the lowest section there. And then up here, there's a little black tab that's going to pull out a little piece. And you're just going to slide that over the middle section. And to get all this locked down, you put one hand here on that new sleeve and the other one up here on this little metal ring and you pull it. And it's going to snap out a little spring-loaded button and that will hold everything together. And then that is how you get this trekking pole assembled. And then you can pop this little clip back and then pull out to your desired height. Uh, this particular model is 105 centimeters up to 120 and uh, doesn't have an inch value on there. So centimeters is just what you've got. But you can tighten down this ring on the back side to have more tension on that clip. Then up here, it's got an EVA lower grip, a cork upper grip, and then it's got that Fawn's foot shape on the top to uh, hold onto. And then you've got your pretty typical trekking pole strap that you can tighten down with this little tab over here. And so let's move down here to the other end where the little foot is. You can pop off the rubber tip and it's got that metal uh, tip there on the end. Here are the other things that come in the bag with these trekking poles. So each pole has two of these basic shoes here and there are metal washers inside to prevent the trekking pole from busting out of these shoes. This one right here has got some tread on the bottom and also has a rounded base so whenever you're walking it will roll with you. This one right here also has some tread but doesn't have that a curved roll to it. You've got two different baskets, the larger one with holes and this one that has kind of a scoop on it. There's also this Velcro piece to keep the trekking poles together when being stored. And then you've got the reflective tape and also this little booklet. Real briefly, here is the other size. So the other one was a 105 to a 120 centimeter. Let's go ahead and pull this one out and see what it's got here. So this one is a 115 centimeter to a 135. So there is a few centimeters longer and we will do a side-by-side -side comparison of these in height. I'm going to max out both the 120 and the 135 and that way we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. So I'm just going to put the upper mark on the maximum position there. And so, if I put these two top handles together and move down over here, you can see that's the difference there between the two. And now, let me go ahead and put it down to the bottom all the way, as low as it will go. And do the same thing where I just put these together here and then there's the difference at the bottom. All right, let's do a comparison of the height difference here between these two sizes. This is the 115 to 135. This is the 105 to 120. If I put them side by side, this is the minimum height. So right there at uh, the uh, 115, that's about where I would keep this if I were hiking normally. And if you're going uphill, you can grab that lower foam there. Um, so that right there, for somebody who is 5 foot 11, might be a little bit too long. So 
So uh, this one right here, of course, in its current state is going to be too short. But if I just simply move this to about the 115, you know, that's about where I would normally keep it. Um, so that being said, it goes up to 120. And that's probably just a little bit higher than I would walk with. So just kind of giving you an idea of the height difference here. So let's pop this one up to 135. <laughs> and that would be way too much for me to hike with. So uh, my recommendation just from doing this right here, if you're six foot and under, you're probably gonna be just fine with the uh, 105 to 120. If you're taller than six foot, you probably could opt for the uh, the 115 to 135. I think would be just fine. I've got all the different feet. Let's go ahead and try out the regular one first. See how well it does. So I feel like this one is kind of the original rubber tip that was on trekking poles. It's good for pretty much any kind of hiking or walking that you want to do. I've not ever used one of these boots that has the curve on it. Let's go ahead and just see how that does. If you can tell any difference at all when hiking. One thing I'm noticing is that it is directional, so you have to kind of line it up with your handle to uh, get it to work right. Interesting. Wonder if that's right or if it should be the other way around. Anyway. I'm not exactly sure the benefit of having that shaped rubber piece on there. I don't know, maybe it just helps you roll it over a little bit. It seems like the uh, straight rubber cylinder would be just as effective, but anyway, they've provided that. Ugh. Somebody who will go unnamed has not sealed the bottom of their micro hydro turbine yet, and so the water has made it kind of soupy over here. And uh, it's a really good place to test out the basket versus no basket here on this trekking pole. So you can see that basket kind of helps this pole not sink too far down into the muck. Definitely want to have a trekking pole that is going to hold your weight up enough as you're walking. So I've got this thing pretty tight. I'm just going to push on it to see if it will collapse whenever I give most of my weight here leaning on it. Yeah, so had to push pretty good to get that to slide. Let me tighten it even more and see if it will hold. Yeah, it's a pretty good snap. Yeah, that clasp is really good there. Um, so I think that's going to be able to support you pretty good if you fall on it. It won't be collapsing, which is good. All right, let's give it a bend test. Yeah, that's good. I think this thing is gonna be nice and strong for the average person hiking around. Now I've had, uh, my dad one time had a trekking pole and he stuck it into a hole or a root and then he fell and uh, he was able to catch himself with his trekking pole. Uh, it did break it, but um, that, thing, that test right there of just bending it should be pretty good. Um, because if you fall, you know, your whole weight's going to go on it and it may snap. But that right there is going to be good enough for the average person just walking around. The handle is nice. The cork goes down to about the third finger. And so your pinky finger will be on that uh, foam on the bottom. So I guess maybe it's easier to make this shape out of foam than the cork. Um, but I don't know if that'll make much of a difference with sweating or not. And then down here... The foam seems to be um, dense enough that it's not going to have any real issues um, falling apart on you. But anyway, I like the dragon pole. It's a good one. Now I guess one thing to consider is that these pop buttons sometimes will snap your fingers. So I'm just going to grab here and here and then just give it a little release so that it's not going to be hurting you.
I've used a dozen different trekking poles over the years and this one seems to be built well. This is the first time I've ever used one that has the folding design, but uh, it's not too bad to just uh, assemble these. Simply pop that out and it seems like it's good to go. And then taking it back apart is pretty easy. Just slide that little sleeve back down where it goes and then take those cables out. And then, like I said before, it comes with this little Velcro piece. You could probably do without, but I think for now, just keep that on there so it keeps everything together. So these do come uh, as a pair and uh, just testing out the different heights. I think for myself, the shorter version of this would do just fine. Um, but if you're taller, definitely go for the other height. Um, construction seems to be good. I think this will do uh, just fine for the uh, daily hiker or even the, uh, the weekend warrior as well. Thank you so much for watching. This Iamaya trekking pole is available on Amazon. I have a link to that in the description down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.